Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Spectre Vondergeist Monster High doll. It's time to get together some dolls for a convention, so that means a new version of Harley Quinn. I've done several versions of the fan favorite Harley Quinn from DC Comics, so I decided to do, to do one of my tattered fairies as a Harley Quinn doll. We decided sort of unexpectedly to do the Megacon in Tampa Bay in September of 2018, which at the time I'm recording this video is in about two weeks. So for the last couple of Tattered Fairies, I'm going to make them more of a theme doll rather than an original character. So I have a fun new collection of dolls and prints to share, so if you're in the area, come say hello! So as usual, I started out with a couple of coats, about three or four coats of Mr. Super Clear, and let that dry before starting to lay in the eyes. As you can tell with Spectra, her eyes are, are her face or uh, skin is already white, so I don't have to do too many coats. I still do color in the eyes with white, but I don't have to do uh, too many coats of that. Sometimes with Spectra, I'll use some flesh tones or uh, I'll use a blush color to do the shading and contouring, but for this one I'm using more of a peachy shade. For the lips I'm using the Pan Pastel in red and blending it in with a little bit of white on the bottom lip. And then I refine it a little bit with some pencil. I always like to shade in the nostrils because at certain angles you can see up the nose, so I like to darken that in. It can be a little challenging working with the white dolls because you can see every little speck even after you erase it, so I have to be very cautious about what I'm laying down and keep checking the entire face for any specks before I seal it. I'm laying in a blush color that I have custom made with my Pan Pastels and blending that out with Colorless Blender. Spectra is one of my very favorite dolls to customize. I think her and Laguna are my two favorite. I just love the shape of their mold. And like I've said before, I always have to do the ears. If I don't customize the ears, then I feel like it's not finished. So now I'm using a, a micro brush just to add in some black at the corners of the mouth. I wanted to give them just a little bit more darkness. She is a villain after all, so I want to make her a little bit more sinister looking. Just slightly, because she is also a fairy. <laughs> so I'm using a Derwent watercolor pencil in ivory black to darken the corners a little bit more. Now I'm going in with the Faber-Castell black pencil. This is my favorite uh, black pencil to use when doing fine detail because it really is a, a harder lead so it's, it doesn't lose its sharpness as easy. Is that a word? Sharpness. <laughs> it doesn't dull, get a little dull like some of the others as quickly. So just I've, since I've done, like I said, several Harley Quinn dolls, I wanted to do something a little bit different on her face paint. So I just came up with this idea to kind of do a little opposite diamond and heart design. I'm 
going in with her for her eyes I'm doing several different colors of blue and then I like to give a little highlight with white and some yellow just to make it look like her eyes are being reflected off of different colors of lights I erased a little bit because I like to keep that light color at the bottom and here going in with the yellow I think that was a Karen Dosh uh, watercolor pencil for the yellow but mainly I'm using Derwent watercolor I'm using the darker shades of blue around the outline of the eye or iris just kind of keeping it dark around the edges and blending it into the center and doing all this before I'll add in the people Because I've been so busy preparing for this convention, I've been having some trouble keeping up with questions and comments in the or in the comment section below, but I'll try to catch up on those soon, so feel free to ask any questions if you have any. So once I add some detail to the inside of the eye, I give everything maybe a second layer of color and add in some eyebrows and some eyelashes bottom lashes and then I'll seal her with about three or four coats of Mr. Super Clear for the final sealing and I always do body blushing as well I just don't always show that And then I'll add a couple of coats of the Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. And for this one, I believe I left the lips matte. But stay tuned for some final look pictures at the end. And this doll will be available at the Megacon in Tampa Bay, like I said. After the convention, I will likely have a couple of the fairies from the Tattered Fairies line up back up in the Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. You can also email me at scariosities at gmail.com if you would like to check on any availability of any of these dolls or on any of my social media, Facebook and uh, Instagram. And those links are in the description box below as well. As always, if you like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also click the bell and you can be notified for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye!